Korim de Asmaro, Ani Gar Bogonder, Ani Rote Lotte. Okay, my name is Asmaro. I live in Ethiopia, Gondor. Uh, I want uh, I wanted to go in Israel, to Israel. Shalom. How are you? Here before inside Torah. It's crazy to think that I'm in a Jewish cemetery in Ethiopia. I never thought I would be here. Hello and welcome to Gondar, Ethiopia. Today is a very special story that I've been wanting to tell you for years. I've always known that Ethiopia had a lot of Jews. That's why when I went to Israel three times, I saw a lot of black Jews who are almost exclusively from Ethiopian heritage. There's about 130,000 of them in total to be exact. Being a Jew myself, this has always piqued my curiosity. Just like the Jews I met in Afghanistan, Turkmenistan, and Yemen. Welcome to Saif village. I really enjoy connecting with other members of the tribe and seeing how they maintain their traditions in today's world. In Ethiopia, I had thought that all the Jews had migrated to Israel, but then I found out that that's not exactly the case here in Gondar, a city in the northwestern region of the country. Shalom. Today, around 4,000 of them remain, who are known as Beta Israel in the world of Judaism. I woke up early this morning to take an adventure into a Jewish village, and I'm blown away by what I saw. Shalom, Shalom. This is Falashia village, a place in the Siemen mountains where a few hundred Jews used to live for generations until they mostly left for Israel in the 1980s and 90s. Nowadays, it's still remarkably preserved as a Jewish town despite there being no more Jews left today. So these little girls now want to show me more of the village, so they're yeah. taking me around. Here, inside. Okay. You're 12? Yeah. How old are you? 11. 11. I'm grade 5 student. I want to be doctor. Help like patients. I want children doctor. Going in the Palasha village. It's like an actual village in here. We're walking to these little houses. Have there. You look here before you live here. Now left in Israel 1942. Years ago. I felt like I got a complete Jewish history lesson from this 11 year old girl and it was unexpectedly amazing. They speak more Hebrew than me, I'm guilty to admit it. You have, like, before, come here, uh, here making like, uh, to make uh, here. You should making like this one, start David. And what is this one? This one, lunch box, like for bread. Injera? Yeah, injera for bread, and this one cooking. Here before, inside, Torah. This is a synagogue? Yeah, it's a synagogue, but before here, putting. Uh, Torah. This is the little thing that they used to hold and read the Torah. Yeah, I'm now buying something from the shop because they're so sweet and so helpful. These people are really nice. Here, Solomon and Saba, the yeah, Lion of Judah. This one, Moses with the Ark, Ark Covenant. And here, Star of David, Magan David. This one, Crash, and here, uh, Waters. This one, Synagogue, like to this one. Oh, wow. Clay and stone mix, yeah. uh, mix like water. How much for this one? 200. Now I'm heading to the Jewish cemetery, which I'm surprised that they even have one here. But uh, just keeps getting better and better. We're now in the Jewish cemetery here, and it's actually really, really special. We have all the Jewish guys. Yeah, in Hebrew and in uh, American and in English, they have the writing on the stones. Yeah, his name is he is boy, and his name is Yosef. He died in 1932. 1932. How many people are buried here? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Yeah, but many, many. It's crazy to think that I'm in a Jewish cemetery in Ethiopia. I never thought I would be here. The Jews of Beta Israel appear to have been isolated from mainstream Jewish communities for at least a millennium, and they have suffered religious persecution where many of them were forced to convert to Christianity or Islam. There's a beautiful synagogue here, which I knocked on the door and walked in this morning, and I was blown away by what I saw. Hundreds and hundreds of people around, almost like a Jewish campground, learning Hebrew, studying Torah, and connecting with the religion. Right now I'm in the synagogue and it's wild. I'm just surrounded by Ethiopian Jews, it's so cool. Hello. I'm from US, but I'm Jewish. Yeah, man, Jewish. 
It was almost like I discovered this hidden world of Judaism that nobody knows about from the outside world. It was hard to believe my eyes what I was seeing. Growing up going to Hebrew school in Arizona was the same environment that I'm seeing here in Ethiopia. Nice to meet you. Shalom. What's your name? Simachi. Shalom. Are you doing to fill in? So I'm in one of like the study rooms uh, where they have like Torah stuff and stuff written all over the walls. It's right? pretty fascinating, honestly, to see to see this Jewish culture here in Ethiopia. I just want to know what does it mean to you to be Jewish? You know, Jews in Israel is very different. Okay. Yeah. Do you do you want to go to Israel someday? Yes. Those are. He wants to go to Israel. Yes. Yeah. You keep kosher and Shabbat every week. Okay, awesome. Everybody can speak Hebrew. All the people. Directly outside the synagogue is a Jewish neighborhood where you can see kids playing in the streets wearing their yarmulkes and there's even a Jewish circus down the street. It's prayer time at the temple here. It's so fascinating to see this. I love it. There was some serious connection that I was feeling in this room, but sadly, the Ethiopian Jews who remain in the country are separated and isolated from the Jews in Israel and around the world. The Israeli government does not give them equal recognition nor rights, making it very difficult for them to migrate to Israel, and the sadder part is that almost all of them have multiple family members over there who they will never have the chance to meet. Most people have family in Israel? Yes. Do you have family in Israel? Yeah. Do you want to make Aliyah? Sure, we want... We, not just me. Not only me. Uh, all of us. It's been a very special experience to see the Judaism here in northwestern Ethiopia. It's something that I never expected. The traditions are still being carried out even if most of the Jews have left. It's still really cool to see and experience. I've been having a great guide. Yeah, these kids have been showing me around. And uh, yeah, it's just an experience I'll never forget. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Yes, you too. Bye bye. Bye. You want coffee? Yeah, we you love coffee. coffee? Oh. It's nice coffee. You want to eat? You drink because this babe, look what I like to like this one. You drink traditional co coffee. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay. Hello. Hello. Thank you. So now we are having coffee inside of her house. Your house? My friend's house. Your friend's house. Me, my house. Your house? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Hot cup of coffee. <laughs> oh, so good. Very good. Thank you. It's very strong. Thank you so much. I'm a second Not I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.